Hi, welcome to uh, Show Me The Money Rugby League TV. Um, as promised, finally, with this is your uh, this is your World Cup preview. We're going to go through each group, go over some of the bookies' favourites, go over uh, individual players from each team's people to look out for and give some of our views on who's the favourite in each group and obviously what we see happening uh, during uh, the whole tournament that we're all very excited for. Uh, Jim's going to take us through the bookies' favourites and we can get, discuss that. All right, so no surprise, um, the Aussies are the favourites, odds on favourites, but I think the, the interesting thing is... Odds on what price, Jim? Uh, four to seven now. But the, the That in means in, in terms, tell them what that means for a punter, Jimmy. Well, if you put seven pound on, you'll win four. <laughs> so, but the interesting thing is, going back two or three months... The Aussies were as short as one to four. So I think a lot, even that New, New Zealand game against Leeds, in inverted commas, um, that, that's really shortened New Zealand's price. Because those of you who, who've looked at the draw will know that the Aussies are very likely to meet New Zealand in the semis. It's not going to be the final. Someone at the Rugby League World Cup Committee has, has done very well to give England the best <laughs> chance of, of getting through and, and avoiding <laughs> those. So those two are set to meet in the semis and obviously um, New Zealand, as a result, are our second favourites. They're now three to one. They were, they were a bit as, of value there. They, well, they were, as, they were four to one before the Leeds game. Got so, you. you know, people have always gone, wow, these are, these are a lot, lot, very serious. Um, and then there's a bit of a jump. Um because we go to the, the other side of a draw then, and it's who's going who's gonna to come through the other side of a draw, and you've got Samoa slightly shorter than Tonga, Samoa 10 to 1. Are they, what are England? England are, third, uh, are, are below Tonga, so you've got Samoa at 10 to 1, Tonga wow. at 12, England so 14 we're fifth to 1. Favorites for we're fifth favourites, we're fifth favourites, and, and favorite. that, that, again, <laughs> that, it's changed over it's the last few weeks. in the history of rugby league, no. ever. And, it, and it's changed because... In uh, our own country, we're fifth, fifth which favorites. is ridiculous. I think that's just... But, but this, this is, again, again before going back a, f a couple of months, before we knew the, the injury concerns, we were third favourites. But what's happened is, with the injury concerns, people have started going, look at that Samoan team. England have to play Samoa in the first game. A lot of this rides on that. You know, Samoa are slight favourites to beat England. Yeah. If England go on to beat Samoa and come top of the group, that'll all change again. But the, 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 they're expecting a, a, a close but slight Samoa victory, which puts them. And then, I don't know what you've seen, but there's a lot of people going, no, Tonga. Tonga is stronger than Samoa and England anyway, which will be, you know, well, that'll be a quarter final game for, for one of them. So, and then you've got a huge jump, <laughs> sick favourites. Fiji, 100 to 1. So we're going from 14s to 100s. Wow. Um, got Fiji got, we, obviously we destroyed Fiji, but again, maybe there's a bit of value there. There's a few Fiji, players missing Yeah, as well Fiji, Fiji were, were, team. exactly. So maybe if you're looking for a bit of value, um, or a lot of value, you can get Jamaica at 2,000 to 1. So, so what, that, what does that mean to be for a guy who has a pound well, on Well, if, you, if you've got a pound and you fancy getting down to Headingley and cheering on Jamaica, who, who will probably create what, one of the best. Can Island? best atmosphere going Jamaica are there Ireland are obviously in a group with New Zealand yeah but they're also in with Lebanon and Jamaica so yeah. Ireland have got a huge chance of qualifying correct albeit probably in second place yeah and they'll end up playing I'm sure they'll, maybe they'll meet the Aussies but Ireland to win the tournament if you put one pound of your hard earned money you'll get 500 back <laughs> so if you've got what about Ireland for a place Ireland to get to the final no, semi or a final. To get to the semi, well, to get to the semi, you can have Ireland at twenty-two to one. To get to get to a semi, yeah. Well, I think because most people have Lebanon, well, well, but it's people, because of the most draw. People, you know, most people have, have Lebanon over big, Ireland. That's no, no, Ireland are second favourites of the group. Yeah. Oh, um, no, if you watch the uh, Aussie, if you watch the Aussie previews, <laughs> which I've been. Uh, Watching every Aussie World Cup preview there is, I think, because obviously they don't know the English yeah. play. Well, I can't say the UK-based uh, Super League. They don't watch. They don't know how good Ireland are. It's quite funny, actually, watching it. They go, oh, we don't know many people. Uh, they might have a ch it'd be a good game against Lebanon, but I think Lebanon, because obviously the big names are like... For Ireland to get a place, they'd come, if they go second in the group, do they play the winners of... Uh, we need Mick for this. 
I think apologies on this yeah, yeah has let us down I, on I, this or do you know this Joe what the, we need I'm to know just, Sam I'm just going through the group I, but while I, we're talking I, I, out loud Sam will get what do the winners in the second just because to give you a little idea you probably need to know exactly what it means if you finish second in group the, the, is it group C there yeah they're in group C so, so if they so finish second and, and they come across the winners of I don't know if it's A, B, V and C versus Steve there's almost no point in speculating but Ireland are going to have to ultimately. no no the, the, what I'm saying is to be that price you've probably got Ireland and probably play yeah, second but, but, plate winners ex- exactly but they'll, New they'll, Zealand reckon, no no because obviously n- the Australia and New Zealand are odds on to meet in the semis yeah so, this is the yeah. quarterfinal. So, so that means you'll probably yeah that probably means you'll meet England or Tonga Oh, I, I thought it was the opposite. I thought it meant that Ireland were going to meet either Australia, Australia or New Zealand, Zealand, Zealand the quarter. Oh, yeah, maybe. And that's yeah. why the 22 to Because if they got through that one game. Um, but yeah, I think that I think for what, you know, my what, 10 piece what Wales the, the exciting game that everyone's probably looking forward to is that expected semi between the Elsies and the Kiwis. What, who do you want to know? Wales. Wales to win outright. You put a pound on. Sky will give you a grand. Place? They want to get to a semi. John Keir. Wales, John Keir's Wales to get to a semi final are 125 to 1. So that means they're going to have to play. You know, they've obviously got really. T- I mean, Wales', is, Wales, is, group, Wales yeah. group is Tonga, PNG, and Cook Island. So Wales are for four favourites out of a group of four. You know, Tonga PNG, strong favourites, even Cook Island are, are fancied to cause more problems in Wales. Can, can, let's just on that, I'm not missing, we're, we're, we're on. Because I've made a big thing straight away, I mentioned in Ireland, which I think I've got them as my dark horses. Yeah. Give me the Irish squad, lads. Give me, give me has I'll, anybody got I'll it do that. Down? I've, I've done the Ireland, the, a bit on the Ireland team. So the, the Ireland squad is. You so we got, do it all in order, so we, yeah, it's it's just I'll, I'll do this because then I've got to go. I'll, I'll, I'll give my 10 on so, so Ireland are in a group with New Zealand, Lebanon and Jamaica. So yeah. a real a real chance of getting through that group. Their squad is James Bentley, Keenan Brand, Liam Byrne, Ed Chamberlain, Josh Cook, Frankie Alton, James Hasson, Jaimin Jolief, Luke Carey, Joe Keyes, that's exciting halfback partnership. Luke Carey and Joe Keyes. <laughs> so Luke, Luke Carey's 22 games for Roosters this year. Yeah. I know some will say he's had these head knocks. And, he's unbelievable. And, 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 Two and times grand final winner. Three. Three. Wow. Joe Keyes for me is probably my championship halfback of the year. Yeah, he copied off the that. I said it ages ago. Next one. <laughs> Well, you know who's next if it's alphabetical. We've just had Keys and Kiri and Keys. It's the King Brothers, George and Toby. George on the back of a brilliant year. Toby's had a very different year, but we know he's got it. Um, Then you've got Ben Matthew. He's had a great year. James McDonnell, who's one of Rhino's new signings. I don't know if he's been announced. But yeah, (laughs) I think think that's sorted. Ronan Michael, he's had a good year at York. It was very highly thought of youngster Robbie Mulhern, um, Richie Myler bringing a bit of experience at a fullback role, and that halfback partnership linking up with him—that's going to be some play there, isn't there? Uh, Dan Norman, Brendan O'Hagan, York City Knights halfback. Brendan's got it in with the old Aussie. Not, twi- not Is that because you got an Irish name with an Australian? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you somebody's rang up and said you're not by any chance. <laughs> Irish and Brendan O'Hagan. And uh, Henry O'Kane, who I'm embarrassed to say I don't know a lot about. Uh, Harry Rushton, who's the highly yeah. thought of youngster who's just signed in NRL. No, no, just, come back, just come back from back NRL. Huddersfield. Huddersfield have signed him, another youngster. Uh, another pair of brothers, Twins. close to home. Senior. Innes and Lewis, senior. And Michael Ward, who's the Batley lad. Yeah. Who's the hooker there, Jimmy? Have we got a hooker? Because straight off the bat, I'm thinking, who's the. Give me some because Mickey Mack's not playing. He's played in the last couple of World Cups. Yeah, I don't embarrass myself because I don't know. I don't know Jamie and Jolief, uh, James Hassan. So they're the names I don't James know. James Hassan's are back. Right. So they're the names. They're the names I don't know. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. There. Do we know if they before Jimmy goes if they come out of that group, what happens? 
there. So winner of Group C, let's say, is runner up of B. Of B. So that will be and the. That's Scotland, that Aussies, Fiji, and Italy. Yeah. Oh, the good chance. So no, 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 because that's the if thing. The that's, no, that's if they They're win. expected so to come second, so they will play the Aussies. If they win the group, then they face the Aussies. Oh! <laughs> Runners up. So that, that's fair. So they face yeah. the Aussies in the group. Got group. it. Yeah. So they need to win the group, which they is. They need to win the group to avoid the Aussies. Yeah. And they'll, they'll probably end up playing Fiji, unless Scotland can cause an upset. And, uh, and sneak second spot in that group. Um, yeah, but, we're on. But, Jimmy's win now, we'll start there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'll leave, I'll leave them there. They're, they're just for things on Scotland and Wales and Jamaica. A couple of star men and uh, what we're expecting, but yeah. Yeah, we're on.